brain box. Doesn't get much pettier than this. Back in the days of renting VHS tapes there was a small video store that also sold pick a pop. I mention this only because of my love for Lime Ricky. They had a special 3 movies for $4.99 or $2.99 each. I only wanted to rent 2 and put them on the counter. $6 plus tax from the gruff person behind the counter. I happily replied shouldn't it be $4.99 plus tax? Got a rent 3, can't you read the sign? I quickly grabbed a third video, buddy hack at live in Vegas, and slapped it on the counter, getting a dirty look from the dude behind the counter, paid my $5 plus tax, and dropped the third video in with the returns. Hey you can't do that. Grumpy guy said. Sign says 72 hours maximum, nothing about a minimum, can't you read that? Mom yells at me to get socks, so I do. So I'm going to keep this short and simple, I'm watching Endgame today, and I don't have any clean socks. My mom tells me to look for socks over and over, this gives me a raging headache, then she blames my missing clothes on my dad. This is where I draw the line, as my mom got primary custody, house, and I'm pretty sure a lot of money. Malicious compliance mode activated. I went up into my room, and with a few tears and rips I found the perfect socks. I went back downstairs, and see my sister's horrified, look on her face, she says mom he's wearing his baby socks. My mom just screamed and yelled what did you do I replied with well I got socks like you asked, they are even clean. I look down at my feet, where I see bits of fabric, with spaces at 3 toes, and absolutely no heel coverage. That childhood memory is gone, which was the loss of the situation I guess. Edit, grandma broke. It Coupon compliance. Very small compliance, and light on the malice. Nobody lost a limb or got fired. At a local charity thrift store, every time you make a donation, no matter how small, you get a coupon that takes $10 off any purchase of $25 or more. There is very rarely anything at this store that I want to purchase that even comes close to $25, but after carrying this coupon in my wallet for several months, I found a $20 item I was interested in. I presented the coupon to the cashier and asked for a $5 discount, which would bring my total to $15. However, she said she couldn't apply a discount because my purchase was less than $25. I tried to explain that, even if I found another $5 item, I would be getting it for free, as I would still only be spending $15 after the $10 discount was applied, but she wouldn't budge. Fair enough. She doesn't make policy, so no need to argue. Behind her counter were several small kids toys, that were a dollar each. I asked her to throw in 5 of them. She rang up $25, applied the discount, and I paid her $15. Before she could bag the toys, I told her I would like to donate them back to the store. I think it started to click for her when I requested a $10 coupon for my donation. My mum and my tattoo. So, this happened last year. I've wanted a tattoo for most of my life, but my parents are fairly strict, and getting one world resulted in load of issues that I didn't want to deal with. I very briefly mentioned that I might like a tattoo and my mum started up her lecture about tattoos, being a bad idea blah blah blah. She ended her lecture with, if you get a tattoo, you can move out. Well, you can probably guess the rest of the story here. A month or so later, I had moved out, not to get a tattoo, there were plenty of reasons for me to want to move out. I spent a week looking at designs and researching tattoo parlors, picked one I wanted, booked the best tattoo artist I could a month in advance, and had my first tattoo done. It's not a small one. It takes up my entire upper arm. I waited a month before showing my mum as I was picturing her running for steel wool, and whichever cleaning fluid was closest, I hid it with my many baggy t-shirts, but when I did, oh boy. When I lifted up my sleeve, she yelped and nearly hit the roof. She started trying to lecture me about it, but I just held up my hands and said, you said that I had to move out if I got a tattoo. I just did it the other way around. She didn't tell or get angry. She was shocked, and I didn't hear from her for two weeks after that. Everything is fine between us now, but she still hates my tattoo and accused me of getting it because it's trendy, but it's fine.
So you didn't listen, eh? So I work at a drive through coffee shop. I get an order for a medium iced caramel macchiato and a medium iced coffee with vanilla, classic sweetener, and heavy cream in it. Dutifully I repeat the order back to them, just as I had her did I finish with, did that all look correct on the screen. Cause let's be real, remaking a beverage is a pain in the ass. They confirm everything is correct. Cool. So I make all their drinks to the specification. Cheerily glad everything is in tip top order. They get to the window and I take their payment for the macchiato and iced coffee with modifications. I hand out the iced coffee, and she makes a face. Cust, this was supposed to be the largest size. Me, oh my bad, I thought you wanted the medium, you said everything was correct, when I read you order back to you. Cust, snaps this needs to be the largest size. Insert best customer service smile. Well okay, bitch. We'll get you that right size. I definitely didn't say this to her, but I was thinking it. So I refund her money back for a plain Jane regular medium ice coffee, no modifications. I then charge her for the largest size including those modifications. I make the right size and hand it out to her with a rhyme so sorry about the mix up. Have a wonderful afternoon and of course get no answer back. Bye bye. Little did she know, if she were kind about the whole situation I would made her drink in the right size without any extra charge. Sorry you couldn't give me enough of your attention to make sure your order was right when I read it back to you. Ultimately it's your money being spent, not mine. No promotion. No more training. So this goes back to high school when I worked at a sandwich shop. I started at one location and then helped open another where I stayed. When since I already knew how to work there I was tasked to help train the new employees. I did not have a problem with it because I was young and thought I was being a company man well you are able to get a promotion to lead which comes with a raise and who are actually supposed to train new people. I was passed over for the lead promotion a couple of times and every time I asked the store manager he said I would be with the next group. Well I had enough excuses of why they wanted me to train, yet not get the proper pay for it, so next round of new hires comes in, and guess who they ask to help train. I tell them I'm not a lead and can't train the assistant manager was shocked, and thought I was a lead this whole time. He understood and didn't push it the next day I worked with the manager, and he was upset that the new hires were not trained. I told him no one was here that was a lead he said that I was here, and I could have trained them. I said I would have, if I wasn't passed over for a promotion two other times. Why doesn't he get the leads here on the weekend and train? He knew he messed up. I wasn't gonna train the new guys today either, so it was a huge waste of money to have them there without a trainer. The next go around I was promoted to lead and now able to train new hires. My little brother likes to take my food. Hello this is my first time posting, but anyways let get to the point. I was eating some spicy beef jerky and my little brother sees me and grabs my bag. I run after him and tell him to give me back my food. He just gives me a smirk and runs off. Keep in note that my dad is watching this all go down while eating some food. I'll let him take it because he does not like spicy food, so I wanted to see what was going to happen. Just as I figured, he's with our mom crying, and my family is Mexican, so our conversations usually go down like this, btw my brother is almost 6, m, mom b, brother me, r, uh, me d, dad, m, what did you do to him, lol all of this is in Spanish, me, nothing all id, b, he gave me spicy food, I see my mom reaching for her chancla, me, no I didn't he took my bag and, even when I asked him to give them back, he ran off. B, has lying. D, no he's not. I saw it all happen, while I was eating. I see that my brother is getting pale. M, oh really? Okay. What usually happens to me was happening to my brother for a change. Note, my mother would never hurt any of us, unless she knew that we needed to learn a lesson. Plus, she doesn't hit hard. I got used to getting hit, but my brother was like brand new shoes just getting ready to get dirty and tear. I know this might sound wrong but me and my dad were chuckling at this moment while my mom was giving him a lesson behind the door. My brother would only take my food when it was only me or him, but at least he kind learned his lesson, I guess. Call, treble 9, and tell them what you did. 
I just posted this in another thread and realized it fits here too. When I was in primary school around 8 or 9. A friend and I accidentally pulled a fire extinguisher off the wall. The head teacher screamed at us for what felt like an hour in her office and then complained that she has to call the fireman to get it reinstalled. Then she said. No, no you can do it, you phone the fireman and explain what you did. So I stepped forward and dialed 999 and told the operator that I'd pulled a fire extinguisher off the wall and that my teacher said I should call and explain myself. My teacher just watched in horror. I remember the operator asked kindly how old I was and then asked if my teacher was there and can I butt her on the phone. I've no idea what was said, but I remember her looking devastated, and she just said you can go. Edit. Wow thank you for the s- So my parents, and I made a deal. I hope this belongs here I don't know to be honest. This just happened. But I should start off with the obligatory I'm on mobile blah blah blah. This is actually important shocking. I'm legally blind. I can see just not well. So if I make a typo there's my excuse. First time post a lua on time lurker. So dinner time my family has just finished their pizza. Then my parents bring me an ultimatum. Attend church tomorrow or have a family movie night. Not that bad, but I have commissions to finish that have to get done. And I avidly avoid going to church due to being pan and living in an area not really for that. So me being me, I was looking for any possible way out. We go back and forth for a bit when a new deal is made. I can give up my phone all of today or attend church. So as I said, before I need the commission time, so I willingly throw in the towel. The terms are from the time I get up to the time I take a shower. Every night before bed, my mom gets my phone big issue. My phone is my main source of contact with commissioners. Compliance, I was up till 4am finishing all my commissions. My original plan was to pull an all nighter. Thus 4am, but school left me so drained I had to go back to the drawing board. Sorry not sorry. Then I remember to the time I get in the shower. So this morning I get up 11am, hand my mom my phone turn around march to the bathroom, and take a 5 minute shower. My parents can't argue as I did comply to the deal. They did say that I would have to go to bed after my shower this morning. So here I'm typing this at 12pm living the high life in bed all day. I plan to catch up on some sleep. Maybe play my mobile RPG who knows. All I know is I have my baby back. I do feel a little guilty as it is my parents. But it wasn't a big deal. I also got out of some chores due to the early time this went down. L 